nowadays there's no civil discourse at all. Why is that? Knitting gives me time to think about things. I'm an actor, and I like to knit on movie sets, uh, in dressing rooms, anywhere to pass the time. I share a love of color with textile designer Kay Fassett, and I actually apprenticed with him in his studio in London. I don't believe so much in black and white. I'm a big fan of color. I like the, the complexity. I'm inspired by the Impressionists. I like their technique of mixing color on the fly as I knit. Only, I don't use paint, I use yarn. I'm a PK, a preacher's kid. I'm the product of three generations of Presbyterian ministers. But um, I ended up as an actor and a knitter. And I've been thinking about um, how the faith, the Abrahamic faith in particular, how they've become much more focused on their differences than on their similarities. So I decided to knit a triptych of three large tapestries and they're shaped like stained glass windows. And they're looking at the commonalities and the differences amongst those Abrahamic faiths. I thought the tapestries would take about 10 months to complete, but the project has taken 15 years. So it's been a pilgrimage of sorts. The Knitting Pilgrim, our play, uses those tapestries as it's set to uh, explore that 15 year journey of knitting and also to take a look at the way things are today. We're a unique offering because people can enjoy the textile exhibition, they can see the play, and then they can engage in a post-show discussion. I think a lot of people would be interested in our show. Uh, knitters, artists, anybody interested in spirituality, anybody who's got an interest in fostering empathy for the other so we can find a way to talk, so we can find a way to get along.